Hello everyone. So today I will speak. My name is Carlos Aguirre Fernandez. My number is M O O seven six three seven O nine. Okay. So today I will speak about the module PDE twenty four forty robots and mechatronics, and I will speak about the industrial automation based tasks two thousand and twenty one. 2022. Yeah. Cool. So let's go to the next slide. So today I will speak about the, the circuit. As you can see on the screen, this is the same electroneumatic. So there are three, three seconds that we can, will show today. One is the uh, have to be D plus and the stay for two seconds there. Go back the T. And I want you to be in two twice. So one and two. After that, the B have to be forward and A forward with the four bar. And after that, B and A have to return at the same time. Uh, next, I have to be C, have to move uh, forward and after the hold for one second. And after that, return after the seconds finish. And this segment have to repeat uh, every single time because it's a uh, rep repeat repetitive uh, sequence. Yeah, cool. So um, I will show you once the simulation on the fluid chain, and after that we'll go through for each uh, requirement is the in the sequence. So we'll explain to you one by one. And the next I'll explain about the Excel because I did two Excels. One for the times and cylinders, the time for that it moves, and the last one is the make and break sheets that we can see in which um, row is a, every single relay or timer or counter. we using this for this circuit, yeah. And this one is some references that I already use. So it's not that simple, and I can see this a uh, website. And the last one for time of delay that could be maybe useful for use. It was useful for me for create that one on my on my circuit. Cool. So let's go to to the fluid here. So. We can see. Let's move the one next to it so you can see at the same time everything. Maybe more. No, no. Okay. So the how I create the fruit sim. You can see there is the name, the number, the tool, the sequence have to be. The requirements is on the PDF. I'll show you later about well, the brief. And there are four main parts in this circuit. First, the circuitic, uh, circuit pneumatic, the state diagram of the every single cylinder, the main circuit, circuit electric, that the D, V, A, and the return of C. And finally, the sensors, all the, the connection of the sensors that it was connected at the at the end or the beginning of each cylinder depends of which one is that one yeah um cool so let me show you the circuit next to the state diagram a little bit closer yeah so let's play it mm. Uh, let's do the, the, the simulation one by one, yes. Cool. So play. Cool. So let's go on the push button. We want the first button that have to be pressed before to start everything. Cool. So D have to go forward, yes. Go for two seconds back. And do the second ones. Second, and after that B. A and the four. Uh, stop the uh, full bar and after that return both at the same times a and b 
And finally, C. I have to go forward, hold for one second, and go back. And after that, they have to repeat every single time. Da, 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 da. So let me let's slow a little bit. Mm. So D, uh, go forward, hold, go back, and after B, A, return both at the same time, C, go for one second, and after, after C, come back, have to repeat all the sequence every single time until we stop the sequence, yeah? Or we stop the, the, the pneumatic part. Cool, so let's just stop and let's go for each recommend of the, of the brief. Go to the brief. Cool. Yeah. So that one is the, the sequence. So the first one is the first one was supply pressure is limited for, for for six bars. So let me show you in the in the pneumatic we can see this part because this one is the supply elements, one of the supply elements that we can use from the all element symbols and items we can use from the symbolic they provi provide us. So already, uh, uh, let's go double click and we can see the value of the compressed air supply. I already add six, six, six watt, six bar. After that have to be displayed as you can see at the beginning there. So it's the easy way that you don't have to come back again to see the pressure that's at the same time. Cool. So the first one is six bars. That's done. Second one, cylinder A and B are cylinder acting cylinders. Let's, do, let's show you that one first. Civil angle cylinders. Cool. So A and B, simple, simple. A. Acting cylinders. C, a double and the cylinder. C, double acting, one, two. And D is a rotary cylinder. A rotary cylinder have to be go on the left or right hand side clock, uh, clockwise or anti clockwise. Um, and L1 is a lamp only to be lit while D is oscill oscillating. So that's mean when D is moving on cl uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise during the movement, I have to uh, have to show the L1, which is the lamp. And the lamp already at here. So you can see only the lamp, yeah? Mm. Oh, yeah, let me show you, yes. Let me show you the lamp, which one is movement. Cool. So the first part have to be D, the forward hold, and after that go back with D. So let's let's play the sequence, and you and we can see L one. That will be switch switch on, and we can see the the is already turn. So let's press is is hold. At the moment. You can see a few seconds before it was not turned up the light because it was on the time we was hold. So that means it's no movement. It's not moving the, the cylinder D because it's at the at the end of the position. So in that period of time, which one it was two seconds, it is no switch on because the requirement is says only in the movement. And after that, when it start to come back, D, let's play D. You can see it's ready to switch on L1. Continue, because it was the second time. And here, they already reached the, because it has 180 degrees. 
So that means they already reached that time, that that uh, that space, and is in that in the full full distance that it can reach. So at that moment it's not moving. So for reason it's not switch on the line. So let's press continue. Now it's already start to go go backwards, anti-clockwise. See, because it's already there. So it's in the middle, it switch on and it continues until it reach the, mm, the bottom of the cylinder D. So that means no movement. So for each is switch on, switch off, sorry. So if you continue during the whole sequence, doesn't turn off, uh, up the light because it's not moving. It's not moving the cylinder D. Okay. Cool. So um, do, 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 do. let's go to the next one. Three sequence has to be initiated to normally put. Okay. So in this case, in this part, I already use this. This this switch, the switch push but push button, they can be hold during the at once. If we press again, that will release the the flow of the electricity. So we press the hold, we press again, they will back. Yeah, so with this, we can use all the sequence for a repetitive until we stop that, that, that circuit. We can stop the two different ones. There's another way we can use, stop the, the sequence, we can stop everything. Yeah. Cool, so let's go. And we have to repeat continually because we already see before. Five, the two latching, uh, non latching, latching for the push button switch is in your discretion. So I prefer to use no latching because it's already the push button is already pressed and they hold. And at least it can be latching only if we have the. Let me let me stop. The other push button, this one. If you use, use that one, maybe we can use the the make make switch make switch from error one because that was really the first one uh, we use. We use that one there, and we use the latch from error R one. So maybe we don't need that one. So it, it's the same. So I prefer to use that one because. One item, one, two item less. So, as least item we can use it. Um, let's go to the six. Cylinder D, no A and B have to be respiratory return bulb. So A, A and B, yeah, have to be return. A spring return at the spring return bulb, yeah. So, for reason, I already use that a uh, solenoid which we can return when it doesn't have a energy or, or air that it can be hold the oh. Okay, so there's the return of the the of the bulbs. They only use forward when the A4 and the for B to B4, which one they can be go uh, hold for keep the B or C depends on the sequence that we need. Okay, let's go. The cylinder C and D are solenoid return. C and D. Mm. Oh. No. 
So C and D have to be returned with the bulb C and D back. So we use them for C4 and C back, D4 and D back from the, so you know which one they can be used from the 5-2, yeah? Mm, seven, all direction, directional control bulb are directly operated by, by uh, through a relay. Yes, so for each solenoid, yes, for each solenoid, for A4, B4, C4, D4, and D back, it's really use one relay before to use that because they can protect the solenoid because it can be da damaged if we use different power that they, they require. Yeah. So already uh, in all of them, I use from the a relay before all the conditions, maybe we need after, but, and as well, I already use uh, the make and break switch from the uh, from the timer, so the counters, and we use uh, already I use from the how's called from the from the sensors. So this one, we use the B and A in this case, but if we go uh, at the bottom, we can see all the sensors. So every single sensor we will really use for from our uh, circuit, we will really use a relay for each part. Uh, you can see from there, from A to D. So that's mean, if you go forwards, uh, the bar at the top. So for each sensor, we did which S1, S3, S2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 for each cylinder. They go straight away from the relay, and after from the relay, when they uh, reactionate or they they go for that position, the the cylinder. So they actionate the the relays on the circuit, the main circuit. So that means they already go straight away from the relay before to go to the solenoid or to the lamp. Um. Okay. So let's go. Next step, okay, eight. Use an electrical counter and a timer to complete the sequence. You're limited to one counter and one time on delay and one time off delay. So I use one timer, T1, which one from the seconds two, two seconds. Uh, the counter C1, where it counts twice from T. And finally, from T2, which one they holds for one second for, for C. So this one is the off the line. The other one was the on the line, as you can see here, and the counter only once. So that means we have three. Three items, two two times the times and one count. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Cylinder C should make a rapid return. Cylinder C. So for re, for re, for the rapid return, I add in the left hand side of the of this of the cylinder so that means when they go backwards when they return they go quickly the a so they can go uh, to the outside the, the a. so that means the return is quick return is there and cylinder a and b should take two seconds to return So cylinder A and B, uh, for return, I already used, let's go to properties, to the throw check valve, to, to the, for the return, they can be slow. In this case, already add from the return for A and the level 3.3, 3.1, sorry, percentage, 
and from B, let's close that one. From B, we'll use free one as well. And they will display Unisys percentage. We can see there. So these two uh, items is for to return the two seconds. <coughs> um, okay, let me show you in the sequence that it returns. No, I'll show you later because I'll, I'll show you the Excel. So in the Excel, how as well I'll already calculate every single time, every single cylinder, how how long it takes for um for to go from from what or backwards or the time they use from the for example for this cylinder C from the quick uh, quick return I will calculate with with quick return on without quick return and they show that it was the quick return in the on the return so uh do, 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 do. Okay, 10. Motion C should uh, should have a speed control elements. So it takes two seconds um, for the clockwise and anti-clockwise for the motions. From the cylinders D, let's go in there. And the cylinder D, I really add these two flow, flow residual, which they uh, is uh, 0 0.2 each, each one. So that's mean in the fray, clockwise and anti-clockwise, they, they goes in two seconds. Yeah. Okay, so let's ask the, uh, the time. And really easy to see which one is the the return on clockwise and anti-clockwise. Let's move that one there. Cool. Let's save. Okay, so with these two uh, flow restrictors, we can use the from the two seconds. Okay, let's go for the next one. Mm, 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 mm. And, and 11. Cylinder C is to the have to optical sense. Okay, this one of the sensors. Let's go for the sensors. Let's go down. Sensors, yeah. So uh, cylinder C have, have is, is to be uh, optical sensors. So C, let's go C. Optical sensors, that one is from the optical and that one as well. Optical proximity switch. Uh, from above them yeah and the next one d uh, is to have magnetic proximity sensors let's go d magnetic proximity sensors if we hold for a few seconds magnetic proximity switch so we can use from the at the beginning s7 and s8 as s8 sensors uh, for cylinder a and b is up to your discretions so I already use uh, random sensors for A and B. That one for A and this two is for B. They want to already use uh, magnetic, magnetic, and that one is the, I don't remember that one. Ah, capacitive, and that one inductive. So random, random sensor we can use from A and B. Um, sensor must to be passed through to the relay before they can be connected. So all of them, as you can see, it's already connected a relay, each one, every single sensor, until from A to D. Um, yeah, and that's it. And that one is, so from here is the, the part from the sequence D. And which one as well from the the cons continues repetitive, repetitive. One from the B, 
B plus, only this square, the rectangle. And that one from the A, A plus in the four bar, because we already use a pressure, as uh, we can see there, it was the pressure gate, we can see the, the gate and the pressure, the pressure sensor when it detects the four bar actionates or move uh, the the switch which one is connected in the in the arrow number 11 and they continues for the next step that will be from b and b and a return at the same time um if you want to see let me, let, me, let me show you this part that one is now at the beginning zero Go. Because we have to stop and the time is uh okay. So there is not in the a uh, as you can see there is no no reach the four bars, so it's not yet uh switch the the connector of the of the sense of the pressure. So let's go is three seven five bars not yet not yet are ah, okay so ah, sorry i ah, yeah. that means they really reached the full so let's go back for a because it could be goes so quick so i have to stop before goes a uh, i have to press down returns the D in the second time. So let's stop now. So this is zero. Yeah. So it starts to go in the, the pressure, as you can see, say 0 0.8. And it continues there. And they reach the four four bar, they go backwards at the same time A and B. Yeah, they go backwards at the same time. Okay. So let's stop and let's go to, 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 to. yes. So that one is the pressure. We can use the this fluorescent. It really show the the level. So three percent. Put to see the C bar, the four bar, and the and the in the state diagram, we can see is no go at the same time B and B and A go uh, from from words at the same time until they reach B. They start to go in the uh, from the from A. Okay, so now I already show you. I already go from the simulate, go from each requirement, and now let me show you the excels that I already used from this uh, circuit. Let's go for first that one. So here, I um, already uh, use this Excel for the times we I use from the from the movement about the sensors. So, and it uh, depends of the from the cylinders A, B, and C, D. For A, I already use a uh, zero to five the actuation labels from the start, and for the end. 4550. So we really use five, five, uh, five, the distance between all of the of this of all the cylinders. Because uh, it was simple, simple cylinder, it was from zero to 450. That one is double, is zero to a hundred, and that one is a rotatory cylinder, so so from zero to 180. So I really use from different uh, flow 
flow control valves. Uh, depends of how we can use from the from the time we need from the circuit. Depends if we need for two seconds um, or at or use from the rapid return. I already use that. So when it was the first time, that one was the second time. And here is the finally which one I I use. From the cylinder A, uh, the return it takes uh, the best one is three point one, and it reach. Uh, so the start is that one, because every single when I calculate, I see in the state diagram the time from the start and the end. So that means that one is you can you cannot see because. From each one, I reduce the press, uh, press the, the push button, uh, and as you, as it depends on what time did you start the time of the push button, the time of here you will see difference. So, um, I state the difference only from the start and the finish, and then I already use the the difference, the difference what uh, from the finish to the start. So that means in that period of time they takes a uh, 2.1 uh, seconds so that means the difference of 0, 0 0.1 the distance the, the the time that is not exactly is not perfect so i'll use the same from the all the from the, all the cylinders the one from b because we need from a at the return b at the return as, as well we use the same one 3.1 that is a little bit longer but that one as well is a little bit no exactly because depends on how from which time or which seconds or what which milliseconds did you use that will be maybe maybe 0 0.51 maximum of, of the distance okay so from d from uh, from from words um i really use 3.0.3 which one the difference it was uh, 0 0.1 so it was that one that was the better and for the return uh, 0 0.2 which one it was 0 0.27 um, and finally from this linda c i use from the adding the rapid return and it was and the afterwards as uh, i test from no rapid return and it takes uh we can see the difference between zero Point two seconds. The difference the return uh, the cylinder number C. And finally, then in the in the sheet number five, I already used from the the make and break sheets because uh, before I think I don't know I don't know exactly, but from or maybe we have to create. Oh, I don't know exactly at the moment. So normally from each relay have to show which one is break and which one is uh, make depends of which arrow from the our circuit is connected so let's move that one out there so probably in the r number two arrow number two the real number r r1 is 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 a make so that means have to be in the make so i already create one excel uh no that one which one they shows uh, how, which release we have, which counters, which sensors, and which have the make and break for each every uh, every single item and the person as well. And and yeah, I think it's I really go for every single requirement. So if you have any questions or or everything just let me know and i will be happy to answer maybe in the bible or before and after yeah okay so thank you so much and see you next time thank you